Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today in this video, we will see how we can design a broadside array of antennas. So before that, you need to know what you mean by a broadside array of antennas. So what do you mean by broadside array of antennas? Well, let's find out. Well, an array of antennas is said to be a broadside array of antennas if its principal direction of radiation is perpendicular to the axis of the array and the plane containing the elements. Then, if the principal direction of radiation is perpendicular to the axis of the array and the plane containing the elements, then that array of antennas is referred to as a broadside array of antennas. So hence, as a result of this, in order for us to obtain a broadside array of antennas, each antenna element is fed with a current of equal amplitude and phase. So therefore, as a result of this, we obtain bidirectional patterns. So what do you mean by bidirectional patterns? That is, the patterns have two directions. So here, I've drawn it down. It has got bidirectional patterns or bidirectional patterns are produced. So here, if this is the plane that contains the antenna elements, if these are the antenna elements, then the pattern that is produced is like this. So it has got two directions, one in this direction and one in this direction. And therefore, as a result of this, the radiation pattern that is obtained is of this form. So this is the radiation pattern that is obtained for a broadside array of antennas. So here, it is tuned very sharply and it only provides gain for a designed frequency. And as the spacing between the elements of this array increases, the major lobe gets sharpened. So that is, as the spacing increases, the major lobe gets sharpened. So this is quickly briefs up what you mean by a broadside array of antennas. So I hope you guys have a clear understanding of what broadside array of antennas are. And we'll discuss more on this topic in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned and thank you.